at the shooting guard position. Six feet, seven inches. Number three, Kevin Arthur. At the center position, seven feet, one inch. Number 25, Alex Ben. At the small forward position, six feet, seven inches. Number 12, DeAndre. The other forward, six feet ten inches, number twenty, John Collins. Starting at the other guard, standing six foot two, number eleven, Craig Miller. Your head coach is. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. Tonight, it'll be the Washington Wizards going up against the Atlanta Hawks at State Farm Arena. Chris Weber is joining us at the broadcast table alongside Greg Anthony and David Aldridge on the sideline. This is Kevin Harlan. DA, it's all yours. Well, for Bradley Beal, it all started with his shot. His mom was a great athlete in her own right, and she coached him. By age seven, he was making high school range threes. He said, I just run from arc to arc. I loved it because you knew you had to guard me all the way out there. Everywhere I went, it was shooter, shooter. My name became shooter. And Kevin, it still is. It sure is. Thanks, David. And now Washington's starting group. Wall runs the point with Beal at the two. Brian is out there with Davis Berton. And it's Brown in at the small forward. And for the Hawks, Herter the two with Hunter at the three. Collins at power forward with Lan at center. And it's Young in at the point. And so many issues for this Wizards team the last few seasons have been due to a lack of an inside presence. Yeah, inside scoring has been a problem, GA. I mean, they've had to lean heavily on outside shooting. Also, though, uh, they've been struggling with rebounding. Now, here is Young. Here's Herter. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. They call him Red Velvet. Kevin Herter, out of the University of Maryland, proved he can stripe it from day one. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. First free throw is good. And Greg Herter, the 19th pick back in 2018, sweet touch and at six foot seven. Good size at the shooting guard position. And the Hawks general manager, Travis Schlink, coming from the Warriors with Trey Young and, and Kevin Herter. The Hawks hoping they have a kind of Splash Brothers East. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And so Brown will bring it up for the Wizards to the inside. Bryant, beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. It's Wall with the drop, and he uses the glass on the layup. Wall is a highly intelligent player. He sees the floor pretty well, sprinting to the cup with ease that time. Young dishes the land. They get a hand on it. Back to Young. And he lays it straight in. No issues on that one. Good work all around. And it's Washington's ball. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Alex Len picks one up. And the last two drafts, the Atlanta Hawks aggressively making trades to assemble this roster. And drafting DeAndre Hunter and Cam Reddish, great length and versatility 
on the wings. You pair that with Trey Young and John Collins, and that's an exciting young core for the Hawks. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Bryant hits them both. Well, well, the Wizards last year, I mean, they struggled on defense. We saw that, which was a big part of why they missed out on the playoffs. Now, teams know it is a weakness, and that's something they need to address. This team knows it. Shots good from Young. Right there, you, you see it. Young's ability to operate out of that pick and roll, very advanced for a player of his age. Here's Wall. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Chris, with the Wizards and their lack of defense, last season it showed up in the numbers. Yeah, Kevin, they were second to last in effective field goal percentage against in the league. I mean, that just didn't challenge shooters inside and out. No amount of offense can make up for that. Now here's Beal after the miss from Trey Young. And Beal kicks to Wall. Now Beal. Pass to Brock. Just five on the clock. Washington needs to get a shot off here. Wall, that's a two-pointer. No good off the back of the rim. That's one he knows he should have drained. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And it's Hunter with the jam. And what I admire about Hunter is that opportunistic attitude. This kid just makes things happen. Here's Beal. Yep, it counts. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. Yeah, GA, I um, mean, great look. High percentage shot. That's the efficiency you're looking to establish. Here's Young after the made shot from Bradley Beal. Young, right side. Here's Len. Bertans grabs the board. Washington leading now by three. Ball passes to Bertans. And the pass to Brown. From deep. Rebound Atlanta. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. Here's Herter. He's covered by Beal. 11 feet away. Unable to get that one. And Washington the other way now. Chris, over the last 40 years, a steady decline in offensive rebound. Largely due, I'm guessing, to the concern with transition defense, right? Definitely. And, and let's give respect to offensive rebounding that it should have. Whenever you had guys like Rodman, Popeye Jones, guys that used to just you'd have nightmares about because they were such great rebounders, Ben Wallace. Well, now it's a little bit different because those guys were playing the four position, right? So now at the four position, you have to get back on defense because if you're not, guys are shooting threes from Curry land in the four position because the game is evolved. And so now it is better to get back in transition and try to get an extra possession for your team. You still want to attack the glass. You just want to make sure you know who's in the game at that time because now you have guys leaking out, getting a quick shot on that other end. Group on the floor. The Hawks trail by five. Grab the pass to Parker. 
153 left in the first quarter. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And, of course, there's uh, no questioning Cam Reddish's talent level. Uh, Greg, he has a high, high ceiling. Yeah, I mean, great size, length, the fluidity as an athlete. He can make an impact at both ends of the floor. Shoots the three well for a young player. And you love his ability to match up, really, one through five. And free throw good from Reddish. He's perfect from the line this time. Enzo Thomas will bring it up for Washington. Three-point lead. Let's it go from deep. Rebound, Atlanta. Oh, if you can't hit that one, your teammates are going to think twice about feeding you the next time. Reddish's shot is good. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Here's Hachimura. We've got 118 left in the first quarter of the game. Six to shoot. And Jones pulls it down. For Atlanta, they've gone four of seven from the field, shooting over 50%. And it's Turner off the drive. Hangs in the air, and it's Jones laying it in. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. And the call will be against Damian Jones. That's his first foul. That's his first foul. There's 45 seconds left here in the opening quarter. And the wide open shot from Miles. Drops in the tray. And the instincts there from Hachimura. Notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. And Turner kicks to Reddish. Banked in off the glass. Reddish has got six. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Washington's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Smith left side. Chalk up two there. Well, that's just the nice handles of Smith. Truly a pleasure to watch him go to work with his dribble moves. The Hawks have gone six of ten from the field in this ball game. And here is Parker. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Two on the clock. Got it up. And a high scoring first quarter. Both teams really filling it up. Wizards lead by two. We'll get right back to the action when we return. One of the most dangerous scorers in the game, Bradley Beal spoke about the trust Coach Scott Brooks has in him and his teammates. I think the biggest thing is he's still young, so, you know, he tries to think he's still hip. He keeps up with us a little bit, but he grants us a lot of freedom. He allows us freedom on both ends of the floor to be leaders. Alan Beal trying to grow as a leader and a star. Has to love that. Yeah, and Brooks known for developing good relationships with his players. He pushes them, but he gives them a lot of praise as well. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Wizards? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Well, yeah, this is their preferred pace, and it's gotten them out to an early lead. Jabari Parker is out there with Reddish. Then it's Jones. Then it's Evan Turner. And it's Benbury in at the shooting guard. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Hawks. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. 
Well, Kevin, the Hawks have been in rebuild mode for the last couple of years, but this season brings a lot of optimism. Passing on Luka Doncic, the Hawks drafted Trey Young. It was much scrutinized, but Young came on down the stretch. His playmaking makes other people better, and also, they hope, will attract a free agent or two. Now the Hawks have added several rookies, starting with DeAndre Hunter. And they believe they're poised to make some noise in the East. Kevin? They took that gamble with Doncic and getting young. We'll see what happens. Thank you, D.A. And the second free throw, good. We're talking about number one options at the offensive end. There's a mentality, right, that you got to have as the team's go-to score, isn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Let's look at Harden. Like, he can go 0 for 7, and then he expects to go 27 for 27. How about yeah. Curry? <laughs> have you ever seen Thompson when they said, oh, my God, Clay Thompson is off. Last game, he only had 11 points. Well, when that happens, you can bet your last dollar at the next game, oh, look he's going to make every shot. So what it is is, again, a short memory. Whether you make a lot, so what? I'm going to do that again tonight. And if you missed a lot, the previous night so what that wasn't this night let's get it right now just two to shoot and as it goes out of bounds Atlanta able to keep the ball here great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out but just trying to prevent the opposition from getting comfortable next time that one might get picked Young's checked in for Atlanta then for the Wizards Brown is checked in for CJ Miles and Bradley Beal subbed in for Smith just go for a minute gone here in the second quarter Washington leading now by three. Beal taking his time here. Right side, Thomas. Three-pointer. Rebound, Atlanta. Jones has got four rebounds now tonight. Parker outside. Pass to Bembry. Back to Parker. Beal with the steal. And now Beal pushing it up and no one back to stop him. Oh, and the dunk by Beal. Uh, every coach in the league would applaud that effort and intensity that Beal just displayed. The steal and the score. Young passes to Jones. There's the dish to Reddish. Pass to Young. Over Thomas. No good that time. And Washington the other way now. Teardrop shot. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Jabari Parker. And we all know how rough things have been for Thomas the last few seasons. Greg battling injuries and trying to find the right situation for his talents. And the injuries have clearly taken their toll on Thomas uh, a lot of things need to go right for you to be a star player at his size and lately that just hasn't been the case take a break take a break two shots that's good from Thomas and even though he's five foot nine 185 pounds soaking wet Thomas plays big out there fearless Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Alex Lenz checked in for Damian Jones. John Collins comes in for Parker. Hunter's checked in for Reddish. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Bembry. And then for Washington, Bryant comes in for Mo Wagner. And Davis Berton subbed in for Hachimura. Well, Coach Scott Brooks has seen success in the past. Respected coach who has won Coach of the Year. But the heat is on in Washington. Yeah, he hasn't had great luck here with the Wizards. I mean, new management this year might be evaluating him. I mean, he could be a make-or-break season for Brooks. Here's Thomas following the bucket by the Hawks. Offensive rebound. Beal can't get it to go. That's a shot they're always happy to get, even when he blows the finish. Here's Hurt. He's covered by Brown. Young in the corner. Over Thomas. Second shot opportunity. Shot is good, and the Wizards' lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from Lenz. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. 
Thomas dishes to Beal. It's rebounded by Herter. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. The game now all time. Herter's got four this quarter. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Thomas against Young. And the basket by Thomas. You have to love the heart of Thomas using all his strength as he has on these challenging finishes. Here's Herter. He's covered by Beal. Herter passes to Young. Connects from three-point range. Young's got the lead up to one now for Atlanta. But the D didn't do a good enough job on He could be an ace when he gets a good look at three. Near the three-point line, it's Thomas. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Wizards lead by one. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. It's stolen by Bryant. In transition, here come the Wizards. Thomas is running. Brown wide open. He fires. And Bryant kicks to Brown. Back to Bryant. Five to shoot. Brown outside. Over Hunter. And it's Brown missing. The Hawks have gone four of seven from the field in the second quarter so far. Thomas against Young. Rebound by the Wizards. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots out there. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, very aggressive. I mean, he takes on the challenge with no hesitation. Off target from outside. The defense has done a good job of forcing him into tough shots this quarter. The Hawks trail by three. Pick up the pace. Get the two for one here. If that's how they want to end this quarter, they're going to have to score quick. It's good. Hunter's got his second bucket. Uh, with a number of moves and shots to choose from, Hunter is scary. Nice bucket there. Deal with it. Six points for him. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Wizards out front, leading by just one. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Bradley. The old saying, no rebounds, no rings. How important is it to continue to have five guys go to the glass in the second half? Yeah, all five, all five guys. Well, I think we're too worried about getting out in transition. So well, I think one through five, including the guards, I know we all got to get in there and rebound. Can't score unless you have the ball, right? Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. A pretty close game for the Wizards throughout the first quarter. At the end of the period, they held a two-point lead. They were outscored by just a bit in the second quarter as they go into the break now holding just a one-point advantage. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Wizards. Well, there was a big spark from the bench in the first half. Sometimes you're hoping for your reserves to come in and just hold court, but they didn't do that. They actually got better. And Shaq, what'd you see from Atlanta? I like the way they rebounded. They devoted a lot of energy down low, fighting for each other on the boards, and they helped keep this game tight. If they can continue to do that, it could easily be the factor that swings the game in their favor. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my man, man, Joel. Joel, what up? And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game.
the Wizards with the lead. Second half is underway, and here's who Scott Brooks has got on the floor. Ball runs the point with Beal at the two. Brown out there with Davis Berton. And it's Bryant in at the five, roaming the paint. And that one is good from Bradley Beal. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Well, last season, we got a glimpse of what a Bradley Beal team looks like as he led the way for the Wizards after Wall went down. And really, Beal took it upon himself to kind of keep this team moving forward. And it was his best season to date. Career highs in scoring and also was creating more for his teammates in Wall's absence. Here's Collins following the basket by John Wall. Collins finds Young. Misses the three. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Out of bounds, Atlanta takes possession. I mean, come on, fellas. Keep your head in the game. I mean, that pass should have been basic. About one minute played here in the second half. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. In the corner, it's Hunter. It's Young on the wing. Seven points in the game. Lock at six. Here's Herter. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Herter's got eight points. Okay, he has all the space he needs in this, so he's going to make that a lot more than he misses it. Passes to Beal. On the wing, Bryant. From past the arc. It's rebounded by Herter. Herter's got four rebounds in this game. Hunter, the pass to Collins. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Out of Wake Forest, John Collins quickly emerging as a top-notch scorer. A tremendous finisher, and his range extends out beyond the arc. Shooting two. That one is off. And players with big numbers on losing teams can be accused of, of empty stats. So, Greg, do you take Collins's with a grain of salt? You look at his field goal percentage, high 50s. He's not just a high usage player. He is highly efficient. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Jabari Parker's checked in for Alex Len. DeAndre Bembry comes in for Hunter. Reddish, he's checked in for Kevin Herter. And it's Turner in for Trey Young. Now here's Wall. He has six. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. And there it is for him. Wall's got four points in the quarter. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Here's Bembry. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Chris, at that free throw line, uh, there's a lot of chirping, isn't there, uh, among the players around the lane. <laughs> it just seems like their mouths are always moving. A lot of chirping. Oh, yeah, I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for the ones that are sucking there and, yeah, and are tired, yeah, they're talking to each other. It's the only real break in action. And there's times, too, you get to see what has happened a few of the plays before, so you get to bust the guy up with some jokes or just flat out uh, talking trash. And sometimes guys are saying, uh, I hate to tell you this, but sometimes the guys are going, man, listen, I'm so tired. He's going to make this free throw. Don't, don't, don't push me too hard on this. I got to get, get rest for a couple seconds. They, they say that, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially to the guys. I, I remember saying that to Ben Wallace one time. He was my rookie, and I was like, listen, man, you know Legs is going to make this free throw, man. Don't, don't, come on, don't push me all the way under the basket. You'd have a good What was the response? Uh, he pushed me into the basket. <laughs> now, here's Wall. He's got eight. Kicks it to Smith. Shoots from 14. Wall's shot is off. Even when the D is playing off of him, the mid-range jumper shouldn't be the shot they're looking for. Memory the pass to Reddish. For the lead. And no good. 
Now the Wizards take it the other way. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldrin. Kevin, when Trey Young was in college, he was known for his long-range shooting. But Young says, the people who know me best know that I'd rather get an assist than any other stat. I pride myself on making the right play. Knowing your teammates get joy and excitement from playing with you is all I care about. Kevin? That's great to see. Thank you, DA. Turner finds Jones. Here's Bembry. That one goes in. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. Oh, absolutely not. And in his mind, no one can stop him on that, no matter the size. And Washington has possession. Following the bucket by the Hawks. And the bucket is good. good. Three-point play chance here for him. Just no Mid resistance Mid on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Well, it has been a long road back from injury for John Wall, Greg. The heel issue followed by the Achilles tear. And you just hope that Wall can make a full recovery and, and get back to the player he once was. Provides so much with his speed and playmaking as well as scoring. The Hawks making a switch here. Grabs checked in. That one misses for Wall. Oh, well, John Wall coming back after that Achilles injury he suffered in the start of 2019. It's been a long road to recovery for him, and I know just how much he misses playing every day. Here is Wall. After the basket by Atlanta. Smith kicks to Wall. Good D by Parker. And see Webb, as we know, with the uh, wall, he made the most of his time missed by finishing his degree. Yeah, Wall was able to take the classes he needed to complete his bachelor's degree from Kentucky. I'm sure he would have preferred to play instead, but he saw an opportunity with his education and made the most of it. For the lead, and scoring with the play inside is Parker. Parker's got his first points of the game. And, and, and hey, that wasn't easy, but Parker was just committed to scoring no matter what. There's the pass to Smith. Here's Wagner, covered by Parker. Wagner, good. And the Wizards lead by one. Seven lead changes now, and we're just in the third quarter. Yeah, frustrating for a coach, but it's great to watch as a fan. Now here's Turner. No points in the game yet for him. Pass to Parker. Hachimura grabs the miss. They can go two for one. It's about being smart right now. Smith against Turner. Smith the pass to Hachimura. Smith outside. Pass to Wagner. Shoots over Turner. Wagner can't hit. Golden opportunity that he can't make good on. Maybe a wake-up call to the D, though. They can't leave him alone like that. Parker's shot is off. Now, here is Smith. Left side, Wall. And the slam dunk by Wall. Well, how about the physicality from Wall on that finish? I mean, he was on a mission to score. John Wall getting it done for Washington. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We'll return shortly. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? How about the unselfishness? Night in and night out, we see guys trying to force their own agenda. Not that time. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Young and Herter make up the back. Hunter is out there with Alex Len, and it's Crab in at the three slot. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. 
It's a three-point game. And Wall kicks to Beal. Shot from free throw range. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. That's 10 points for Beal. And the awareness of Wall, the guy you can count on to find the open man. Here's Hurt. He's covered by Beal. Young taking his time here. The trade. Rebound, Washington. Gets the look he wants and still no luck. Tough night for him. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Inside. Wall, good. Wall's got 12 points in just the second half. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Now Young. From downtown. And it's DeAndre Hunter with the foul. That's his first foul. John Collins, he's checked in for the Hawks. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Wall passes to Beal. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Outside Cullen. Here's Young. Atlanta again, missing. He has shot them in the foot with his inability to make shots tonight. Ball passes to Beal. Fires from 18. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Now look, even if he had other places to go with the ball, that's a good shot. You can't blame him for letting that one fly. Wizards leading by nine. Passes it to Wall. Down it drops through the net for his ninth bucket. He is nine for 13 so far. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really timeout, scoring timeout. effectively from the paint. Atlanta calls timeout. Yeah, Kevin, and it didn't happen overnight, but it's clear that Bradley Beal is a franchise player. I mean, he's worked on his game year to year, and now he's a superstar in this league. Catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, guys. I got a chance to listen in on what Lloyd Pierce was saying to the team. He is not pleased. He told them they have to make a push right now. He said, look, we got to make a move, or I've got to pull the plug. Pretty blunt stuff, Kevin. Back to you. Here's Herder. Here's Hunter. They get it back. Young outside to end the cold streak. Atlanta again, missing. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. Wall, that's good. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. The Hawks trail by 13. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Wall against Young. Len passes to Hunter. Young for three. It's hauled in by Brock. Brown's got rebound number five here tonight. And Wall kicks to Brown. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Shot clock at six. To the middle. And Wall gets it to go in on the assist by Bryant. 
22 points for John Wall. And their balanced effort at both ends has time out, time hushed out. this crowd. No, because it's gone dead silent Sorry. in this arena. What a fantastic performance here on the road. Atlanta calls timeout. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Poor rotations. I mean, slow help and just not enough toughness on the interior. They've got a lot to talk about. get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, John Wall. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything's been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hands. He got an extra boost from the grief these fans were giving him here tonight. They were riding him hard all night, and he ate it up. Some guys just like being the villain, I guess. Outside Collins. The pass to Len. He kicks it to Young. In the corner. Herter with it. Five on the clock. To halt the run. Good on the three-point shot. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make a pay. Outside, Beal. No good, shot missing. And Atlanta will go the other way with it. Herder passes to Young, takes the three. Another three for Atlanta. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. But well, it had to be. These days, you need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They're ahead by nine. 125 left in the game. Twenty-five left in the fourth quarter of this one. Wall against Young. Wall passes to Brock. The kick out to Bryant. Here is Wall. Pass to Beal. Six on the shot clock. Back to Wall. Rebound by the Hawks. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoiding fouling and gotten the perfect position to alter the shot. This game looks like they've got it just about wrapped up. Yeah, just got to work that clock and take care of the ball. Down low. And stolen by Hunter. Young with no one around. Another three for Atlanta. Ice in his. Baines. Young excels at stepping to the plate and delivering in the clutch. And they go to the intentional foul. And the Wizards are going with a whole new group out there now. Mm -hmm. 
they can more or less wrap it up right here. This has to be a very smart possession. Here's Bunga. We've got 22 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Down to five on the shot clock. The teardrop falls in. Timeout, timeout. And the Wizards lead by eight. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're trailing by eight. There's 14 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, what do you think? And I don't think they'll be able to climb out of this hole. I'm really curious to see what their strategy is at this point. You can't afford any wasted possessions. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth. Crab kicks to Turner for three. Hachimura grabs the miss. Here's Schofield. And so it's the Wizards with the W. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it. Really an outstanding effort all the way around. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks. With John Wall, John, it sure looks like the chemistry is coming together. What is the bond like with your teammates? Uh, we enjoy playing with each other. Uh, we have great chemistry. We all work hard and we know how much we mean to each other, how much we work every day, and uh, we just try to keep getting better each game. Well, the work is paying off, John. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for being with us. So long.